What is up you guys? We're back here at the Goodwill Bins today with another installment of the $20 house flip. We have made a lot of progress since the yeah. last video, both in the budget and in the actual work of the house. So stay tuned. We will cover all of that later on. airware tag and some Doc Martens. A little bit of scuffs on the toes. We'll definitely grab those. Alright, got some bags. Let's see if we can find anything today. Got a beer Bradley. This is cute. Again, we're not looking at anything yet. We're just going to throw them in the bag. Those still do pretty well. Another polo hat. Full bag bin. You like to see it. Love to see it. Got two things right here. You got this little NFL hat, Philadelphia Eagles. It is new at tag, so it has a little pink stain like right there. So I might try to get that out. Just a couple ducks there. Not even a couple ducks, maybe a couple cents. And we got this really big Beer Bradley tote. As you can see, there's a little bit of yellowing on this side. But I'm thinking that might wash out. Beer Bradleys are just cloths. So you can easily throw them in the washing machine. The zipper works. And I think it's an older pattern, too. We'll grab that. Try to wash it. Right here, we got this uh, blender adapter thing. I normally don't really get out of that, buy this stuff, but it says Vitamix on there. Vitamix is a very high-end brand of blender. So I used Google Lens to figure out what this was. Uh, and it looks like it is a Vitamix personal cup adapter. Um, there's one right there, the exact same thing, sold for $60 plus shipping, pre owned condition. Just a little black part in there, sold for $42 plus shipping. Uh, another one, $55 plus shipping. So this is pretty good. Sell through rate's really good too. There's 92 currently listed and 137 sold. So over 100% sell through rate. <sighs> Yes, I will gladly take a Tavi sling bag. Well, Josh, I have almost a full bag of stuff. Wow. I've done really good. I do not have a full bag of stuff, but I found a couple things. I just found these Nobles, which is a great, great brand. They're a little dirty and they're a little bald. There's actually another one right here. I don't know. I can find the match for that. Throw it in for now. These usually do pretty well. There's some like heel drag on these, but no like holes in the upper or anything. I think I'm gonna take a chance. I saw this little scarf here. I just thought it looked kind of yeah, cool. It it's got, yeah, the scarf. Yeah. It's got like little horse guys on there, but it feels nice. And there's a little tag. Get the tag go right here. Sacha for Sacha for Basha scarves made in Japan, 100% wool. Very, very beautiful. No rips, no holes. I'll definitely get that. All right, I'm gonna go through all my stuff, make sure it's not damaged, make sure there's not issues I missed. Obviously, because in the beginning, I was literally just like throwing things in my bag. Especially in the beginning, when you see a big thing of purses, people tend to swarm, and you just gotta, you just kinda go for it. They just keep throwing things in, so. And we'll take take a look at everything, make sure zippers work, make sure there's no issues. This is cute, it's just like butterfly wings are bent. 
I don't know. I'll think about it. That's a $60 price tag on it. It's crazy. Here's the Dooney. This one's a little dirty, I will say, but I, it's definitely vintage. Man USA. Got an older class on it. Outside is in really good condition. I think I'm gonna still grab that. I'm also really thrilled to have found the Lululemon crossbody in the bin. So I've not found one in any sort of thrift store. This one's in really good condition. Just needs an outer cleanup. It's also got the big Lululemon on the, on the strap. I didn't really show this one. It's just like a cute like teacher bag. Oh my gosh, it's Beer Bradley. I didn't even realize. Okay, that is awesome. <laughs> Definitely grabbing that. And, okay, I literally just like threw this in the bag earlier, having no idea that it was here, Bradley. That's a great find, obviously. I think all this is regular. No plush today. Easy peasy. <laughs> $39.69. Okay. Right. Thank you, Maggie. Appreciate it. You got everything? I do. It all fits in the back. Yeah, perfect. It was a pretty good day at the bins. Josh doesn't think so just because he did not find that so much stuff. I didn't stuff, see everything that Haley got yet, so I, I heard it's good. I found some pretty good stuff. Not the best trip in the world, but obviously pretty great. We were only there for 45 minutes, and to come home with an entire Hulkin bag worth of stuff. It's That's the good part it. about our bins. Like, I feel like most Goodwill bins, they put out new stuff like every 15 or 20 minutes. So you can be there for like four or five hours and like or still all find day. it or all day, you know? Yeah. But ours is just in the morning, be there, be square. After 45 minutes, no point it's being there. Over. Exactly. Some guy was like, Is it always? I come in here all the time. There's never anybody here. Why is it so busy? I'm like, I'm Do like, you normally do you? come in the afternoon? <laughs> yeah. He said, Yes. I'm like, Well, that's why. That's there's why. No, there's nobody that's here. Why. Next up on the to do list today, we are feeling um, like we need to treat ourselves. So we're going to head to Costco maybe and get some Costco. Lunch. Costco dog? Costco yes. dog? Josh will probably get a Costco dog or some pizza. I might try something new and I we'll just, give it a taste. I test. have a very advanced palate. So hot dogs are actually my favorite food in the world. Like if I had a choice between a good hot dog or like a steak, I think I'd pick the hot you dog. You would pick a hot dog over a steak. Depending on how each were cooked. So we are in Costco looking for cool stuff for personal use. Well, it's funny because we said we were going to get a hot dog and now we're just shopping. We're just, we're shop first and then reward ourselves with a hot dog. But today's video is actually being sponsored by Whatnot, the number one live selling app in the world. So I thought I would try to find some things in Costco that we could give away in a future Whatnot show. And anyway, they have these flashlights. I saw them two times ago when we came to, to Costco. They're the Infinity X1 dual power 5,000 lumens, 30 bucks, but it just it's feels... Fancy. It's metal, it's rechargeable, but you could also put regular batteries in there. I just think it's a cool item. Everybody could use another flashlight. So I'm gonna get one for personal use and one to give away to you guys on our next Whatnot Show. Got another deal alert for you guys. This uh, Salyu Spa by Coronado. Haley and I bought one of these inflatable hot tubs maybe like three months ago. They're 500 bucks, which is, I guess sort of expensive, but it's a heck of a lot cheaper than a regular hot tub. And we absolutely love ours. We use it all the time. Highly recommend picking one of these up. I think ours was about the same price on Amazon, maybe like four or 500 bucks, but we love it. Very worth the money. I found something else for our whatnot giveaways. They've got these Michelin like jump starters. So if your battery dies in your car, you don't have to like look for somebody else to jump you off. You just keep this in your car and you're good to go. 80 bucks, I feel like that's a solid deal for some peace of mind gonna get it and give it away to one of you guys in our next whatnot show here's another really good deal for you guys if you look up there eight dollars for a 27 gallon tote ebay sellers look at here these are nice ones too yeah. like we get all ours at like target for like, like nine bucks and they're super thin right. these come with the thick durable lids and everything really really good deal Haley had what is that called the turkey this is the turkey and swiss sandwich I'm, I'm branching out i'm trying to like trying everything that they have here i was gonna get a salad but we're having a caesar salad tonight for dinner so it's the sandwich today yes and i'm branching out to pizza let's see how good this is It's good. The pesto stuff looks like the inside of a pizza roll. How's your pizza? One to ten. Probably like an eight. Oh, that's a good, that's mm -hmm. good. Like it looks pizza. so good though. I'm kind of jealous. So quick update on the food. I <laughs> ate my sliced pizza and it was delicious. And as Haley continued to eat her turkey sandwich, she realized that it wasn't very good at all. It had like mayonnaise and mustard on it, which she did not like. 
Uh, so she <laughs> she got her own slice of pizza. I guess you do get credit for at least trying to be healthy well, today. Well, I also like trying new things too, just to like see. But the sandwich I got was six ninety nine, and this is four ninety nine, and this it's is just, so much better. That's why it's so difficult to eat healthy because it's like, yes. would you rather have a two dollar slice of pizza that's absolutely delicious, or a seven dollar turkey sandwich that's terrible? Obviously, the pizza. <laughs> After our fun trip to Costco, we decided to head to the Home Depot to pick up some materials for our next project at the Flip House, which is leveling the kitchen cabinets and building a back wall for this exposed area behind the island segment. So fast forward like, I don't know, three hours, two and a half or three hours or so. We got everything cut and measured and built and assembled. It's not quite done yet, but if we take a look over here, we can see the back panel that we have covering you know, the back of the cabinets. A lot of you guys were asking in the last video like what we we're gonna do with this section. This is what we had envisioned in our minds. And I think it turned out pretty good. Especially for, for someone who doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> I think Haley's gonna come and you know, sand this down. This stuff is already pretty smooth. Uh, but maybe sand it down a little bit, maybe put some wood filler and some of the, um, like some of the boards have some like knots with like, little crevices and stuff. Uh, get it all painted. It's extremely sturdy. And most importantly, it's extremely level. I think leveling everything is what took the longest today. So very happy with how it looks so far. One step closer to a completed kitchen. So fast forward a couple days, very excited to show you guys the progress on the kitchen. Haley came over here a couple days ago and did multiple layers of paint on the wood we built the other day and put a little, nice little clear protective coating. I got all that looking very nice. But instead of showing you guys just the update on the cabinets, we went ahead and installed the countertops as well. So before we show you guys those, let me talk about whatnot for just a second. If you guys are regular viewers of our YouTube channel, you probably know that we've both worked with and sold on the whatnot app for over two and a half years, I think at this point. And I can confidently say that nothing has changed our business nearly as much as starting to sell on whatnot has. But today's video isn't even about selling on whatnot. I'm just trying to get you guys to go over there and buy some cool stuff. They've got categories for everything you could possibly imagine. Haley's actually in the warehouse right now doing a Disney pin show. They have a specific specific category for Disney pins. They have action figures, they have Funko Pops, they have men's and women's clothes, they have kids clothes. I think they just added a category yesterday or last week for like hunting knives or something. Like literally anything your heart can desire you can find on whatnot. How's the show going? Show's going great. Show's Josh going great. How many, how many pins? Uh, yeah, film okay. it for YouTube. How many <laughs> pins have you sold? Um, I have done 61, 61 orders. I did one buy a now drop, so that 10 of those were a buy Okay, so about 50 pins, or no, six, 61 pins for $709. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's yep. not bad. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We do have some really cool whatnot auctions coming up in the future. We still have all of these vintage DC action figures from our big disney hall that we need to move out we still have all these graphic novels over here all this disney stuff so on the screen here is going to be a graphic of our next three whatnot shows and their schedules dates times and what we'll be selling in those shows so if you guys have not signed up for whatnot yet definitely do so by clicking the link in the description of this video then you download the app sign into the app with the information you use to sign up with and that will give you i think 10 or 15 dollars off your first purchase. So we sure hope to see you in one of those shows. We often get asked if Whatnot is available internationally and not just the United States, and they are. I don't have an exact list of all the countries yet, but I do know they're available in Canada for both buying and selling, as well as the United Kingdom. I think they're gonna try to come to Australia or something like that soon, but if you're in the UK, Canada, or the United States, Whatnot is available. I think one of my favorite things about working with Whatnot in these sponsored ad segments like this is the fact that they never give us a script of what to say. It's like they know if we just sit down and promote the app, tell you guys about it in a way that's natural and organic, you'll probably try it. And once you try it, you'll see that it's super fun. You can get some crazy deals on there and you'll probably stick around. So if you haven't signed up for the app yet, again, do so with the link in the description down below. New users get 10 or $15 off your first purchase, whatever, whatever the number is nowadays. And we would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Thanks again to Whatnot not for sponsoring today's video and for honestly making this house flip series possible. If we had to sell all this stuff on eBay, waiting four, five, six months for it to sell, it would take a really, really long time. So whatnot, really appreciate that as well. Let's get back to the kitchen. So again, thanks to whatnot for sponsoring today's video, but without further ado, I'd like to present to you guys the semi-completed kitchen. It looks so good. I wish you guys could be in the room with us and, and just, Take it all in. It's so, so, so first let's look at this. So this is everything Haley painted the other day. It's all nice and 
complete. There's we got one spot I'm not super happy yeah, with. Yeah, it's but just, I ended it's up just a little. It. It's just that wood knot. It's gonna be hard to cover that up. Very nice. I did most of the flooring. I'll say most, maybe like half the floor. <laughs> floor is done, but everything from that corner all the way to you know here. It's taken me, I don't know, maybe like three hours or so, Something three like to that. four hours to do this. We probably would have done more, but we didn't want to kind of get in the way when they were coming in the countertop. Yeah. So that's going to be one of our next projects is finishing that floor. Made some very intricate cuts. Look at that. Look at that cut over there. I did this. It's perfect. And then of course we have the beautiful countertop. So we went with kind of like a speckly, shiny, like I guess terra, terracotta. No, that's the pot. Terrazzo? terrazzo? I keep getting terracotta and terrazzo mixed up. It's not terracotta. Up. No. It's not terracotta. It's terrazzo <laughs> style. It's, it's very similar to this, the countertop in our in our hallway bathroom. Yes, almost too. exactly the same, yes. actually. We got the countertop guy's information from Dean, Dean Dunhaney man. He actually just got married recently. Congratulations to you, Dean. Uh, and he and his wife moved into one of his dad's rental properties, I think. And then they redid the, the countertops of this guy. So they came in, literally he came and measured the countertops two days ago. And I was like, oh, how long is it going to take? You know, maybe two weeks, three, three weeks. He said, no, we'll come back in like tomorrow, maybe Friday. Yeah, it was like <laughs> was two like, days okay. between measuring and yeah. then coming in. It was it awesome. Was, it was very, very quick. Very, yeah, they were very awesome. Well so the other thing that we got done while the countertop, countertops were in was actually put in the sink. And I think the sink looks really, really good. Yep. We wanted to go with kind of like a bigger farmhouse style sink, if you will, but like a single basin. So yeah. it wasn't like a double basin or anything. I'm not a big fan of the of this of the individual basins. I guess it does come in handy sometimes, like but like and like yeah. rinsing or whatever, like I understand for sure. But he the guy we actually did the countertops actually had the sink too. So we he had a couple options. Josh was like, oh, I like that one. And yep. he just came in. We had paid him a couple. We think we paid $100. $100. It was $3,000 all in for the countertops and the sink. Yes. There was a little bit of miscommunication. I don't know if it was $3,100 or $3,000. But I paid him $3,000 and he didn't say anything. So $3,000 cash for all the countertops cut, yes. installed, uh, and, and, that, and the sink. And obviously with him and it looks great. Looks good. We just got to get a faucet. We got to install. There's a lot of plumbing work that needs to be done back here. We have to install the... The dishwasher, both electrically and water, waterly, waterly, water, waterly. <laughs> uh, and do all this plumbing. So I'm thinking about hiring a plumber just to like come on, like, hey, here's this dishwasher. Can you install it and put a garbage disposal in and do all the plumbing and put this sink faucet in? I think that'd be a good use of like. It'll probably cost like four or five hundred bucks yeah, for him to do all that. Yeah, I think it would be a good yeah. use of money for us for sure. Um, I think he did a really good job too because he kind of slid in the oven and we kind of tried to figure out where the oven needed to be in reference to the countertops. Obviously, we still have a little bit of the extra stuff to do. The little we're going to make a little corner thing back there, which I will still have to paint as well as that. But I, it just looks it looks really really good. They did a really good job. And of course, we did the same countertop over here, the little coffee bar area. It turned out very nice. Maybe you get a good. I'm going to see some of the speckled, like, shininess of the countertop from down here. Just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So, of course, we have to talk about the house budget because we've obviously spent some money since the last update, and we've also made a little bit of money as well. So, in the last episode, we left off with $2,878.73. Since I announced in that video that we were doing a house budget whatnot show, like, two or three days from then, we did that, and after whatnot fees, we made $864.10, adding that to the budget. At Home Depot the other day, between all the wood we got for this wall down here and a couple other like paint things, we spent $105.16, and then we spent another $3,000 on all of the countertops. I believe, if I did the math correctly, that brings us down to $637.67 in the budget, and we also have to take out what we spent at the Goodwill bins today. I don't remember what that is off the top of my head, but taking out the budget right now, and that's what we have working with going forward on this house flip project. We have a couple more things going on. We gotta finish you know, the trim, carpentry, stuff like that. Paying the plumber to set all this up for us. Um, maybe a little bit of electrical work, putting in some light fixtures and stuff that I'm struggling with. And then we were going back and forth about if we are going to resurface all of the actual hardwood floors in this house because they are kind of ugly. But I also have recently learned that that's gonna be pretty expensive, about $4 a square foot to have a company come in, sand everything down, refinish it, you know, do, no, probably not gonna stain it, just like a nice natural color, um, but it's gonna be expensive. $4 a square foot for about 800 square feet, I would think, something like that. So that's another three or $4,000. So 
I don't know. Stick around to see what happens. We got to sell all the stuff from today's video. We still have a couple things left over from previous episodes that we haven't sold yet. So we might, if we sell all the stuff we currently have, we might have enough money to pay for everything, or it might take one or two more episodes. Either way, we are getting incredibly close to the end of this challenge that has been going on for like 15 months at this point. So thank you guys so much for watching, sticking with us. I think we'll finish it pretty soon. Real quick, I have a question for any uh, handy handy people in the chat. So I was doing the floors and this little, one little piece up to the base of the cabinet here is just a little tiny piece. It fits, but it kind of like bows up a little bit because there's nothing holding it down on that side. And it just, I feel like that is not good, that it <laughs> just stays like that. So any idea, I don't want to just like, I can't even get my nail gun in here to like nail it down. And I don't know, maybe like put some adhesive on the back of it and like put a weight or something on top of it to like adhere it to the subfloor. I don't know. Let me know <laughs> in a comment down below. What can I do about that a little flat? But I think that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Really yes. appreciate it. Uh, and as always, we will catch you guys on, on the, the next, next one. one.